Good evening. There's a move tonight to give more than a thousand New Jersey probation officers the right to carry a gun. Currently, those who work directly with convicted criminals on probation are forbidden to carry weapons. Officers want that changed. Rich Young reports. John Smack says he puts his life on the line almost daily. As a probation officer in Monmouth County, his job often takes him to dangerous areas to confront potentially dangerous people. All this while having no way to protect himself. There are a lot of great people that live around here, but, you know, for the moment that there are a lot of people that, uh, that they're even scared of. The people like the gang members, uh, people openly around the street making sales, buying drugs. So uh, when you have that kind of situation, you just don't, you never know what you're going kind to of, come across. So Smack is joining 1,500 POs statewide and support a bill that would give them the right to carry guns. The officers deal with 150,000 people on probation, including convicted rapists, thieves, even murderers. Assemblyman Frank Blee is sponsoring a measure to arm POs to protect themselves and the public. I believe they are in jeopardy. Uh, many times they're uh, working with criminals who... Uh, if they violated probation, they know their next stop is jail, so they're in a very desperate situation. Probation officers work for the administrative office of the courts. Rather than law enforcement, the court considers them as an arm of the court that's supposed to be impartial. In a statement, a court spokesman said the functions of police and probation are not only different, but incompatible. The head of the officers' union disagrees. The judges send people to probation terms, and they should expect that uh, the probation officers that work for them, that supervise these criminals, uh, should have the power to make an arrest and get that person off the street if they're committing a new offense. There was a similar measure proposed in the last legislative session. It got out of committee but was never posted for a vote. Now the officers are again trying to send a message that their jobs are still dangerous and giving them law enforcement authority would be safer for both them and the general public. Richard NJN News, Asbury Park.